Hello friends, I Dhanesh Gupta, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology at Biani Group of Colleges. Welcome you all on the behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am lecture on life and scope of variable or we can say uh, storage classes in C. We know all variable have data type but they have storage classes. There are basically two kinds of location in computer to store a variable value. Uh, in memory or in CPU registers. A variable store class tells that where the variable stored, what will be the initial, where the variable stored means the value of variable is stored in memory or in CPU register. What will be the initial value of the variable? It, starting value, if we can't assign the value to the variable, what will be it? It is a garbage or anything else. What is the scope of variable? Define that the, vari and the range of the variable and what is the life of uh, what is the life of variable? Uh, variable is, uh, show its validity where throughout the program. There are the four storage classes in C. First of all, one is automatic storage classes. Re second one is register storage classes. Third one is static storage classes, and fourth one last is external storage classes. First of all, automatic storage class. In this storage, the data of variable storage in memory. And the default value of a variable is garbage value. It means the unpredictable value. It is given by the compiler. Local uh, scope. Local to the block in which variable is defined. And life till the content remain within the block in which variable is defined. Automatic storage classes mean auto in we can declare auto int i auto is the keyword for automatic storage class or we can define it without auto keyword it is our default storage classes in c auto int i next is this is the block where we declare int i is the auto next auto int i equal to 2 it is the another blocking of another variable i we have print the value of i in this block the value of i here print it is 2. Now again we come back to the first block that where i value of i is 1. This is the auto storage classes. The next one is register storage classes. In this, the storage of variable in CPU registers. Uh, we know that the uh, value stored in CPU register is processed fast as compared to memory. Default initial value of this is garbage value. Next is scope. Local to the block in which variable is defined. Life is till the control remains within a block in which variable is defined. Uh, it is also same as of auto variable except the variable stored in CPU registers. But we know uh, there is a limitation space in CPU register. It's a main, the keyword used for declaring storage, uh, register storage classes, register uh, we can declare register int i. For i equal to 0 is a loop for printing the value of a variable. Now the output of this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here this is the storage. There is no difference between the auto and register except the storage area of this class. Next type of is a static storage class. In this storage area is the memory. Variable that we have declared store in location of memory. The default, but here the default value of a variable is zero. If we can't assign any value to variable, it assume to a zero. Next is scope, local to the block in which the variable is defined. The life of the variable is value to the variable persists between different function call. It means uh, variable stand there value after a function is after the exit of a function example the difference between the static and auto is here is the example of auto static class and this is the example of static storage class the main difference is when we come out from this function one function to another function there is again define variable again but in this value is retained by the variable we declare static i is equal to 1 when we call a function again abc the value again i is incremented by 1 and the printout is 2 and 3 and so on there is a next next is external storage class in this it is also called a global storage class Storage area is again memory, default initial value is 0. If we can't define any value, that is assumed to be a 0. Scope is global. Throughout a program, it means a variable exists throughout a 
program when the program life is as long as long as program execution does not come out of the end example of this we have declared a external or a global outside the main function and uh, this is the program we have print the value of i we know the value default value of external storage class is zero so the value of i is here zero next we call a function abc outside the main function abc there is a print the value of i here the value of i is again zero next we have incremented the value of i i is the external or a global variable it can use all the function in a program the value of i is incremented by one now again the we have called xyz function we come out to xyz function here the value of i is now again one so the last time of the function abc gives the value of i is incremented by 1 so the printf in printf statement the value of i is 1 now we have incremented also value of i by i++ plus plus is equal to 2 now again we have called the function abc in abc function it should be print to 3 2 and the again incremented by 1 and so on this is the global variable and thank you very much for watching this video for more video and study material log on to www.gurukpo.com thank you